What is up, Adrian Nickelodeon Nation? Are we doing this? Are you going on camera? Yeah. Guys, welcome Riding Badgets to the channel, to the Adrian Nickelodeon channel. Have they seen you before in this channel? In the background a couple of times. In the background a couple of times. Riding Badger is going to plug his channel as much as he can. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> right, so this is my good friend, Riding Badger. He's a motor vlogger from the ACT. Just quickly summarize what we're doing today. Go. Painting some shit. Painting some oh. shit. All right, let's go. Get the No, no. So what are we painting? Race fairings for my Honda. Race fairings for your Honda. Is this it here underneath this cover? Pretty sure that's not my bike. No, pretty sure it's not. Do you know what that is though? What, what's under What's under the cover, Badger? What is what, it? What have we got here? What a BMW. What is that? S1000 double R. So I've got my track bike here, guys. We're not working on mine just yet. Um, we are going to be working on Badger's CBR 600 double R. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be painting some fairings today. And so what we're going to do, right? This is my garage. We're going to convert the garage into a makeshift spray booth, yeah? Yeah. Yep, cool. All right, let's do it. Just ordered some Domino's 20 bucks worth of pizzas because we're going to bunker down for a long and hard day of work. All right, guys, so Badger's brought over, like, a, what do you call this, a recipe? No, this is all the stuff that we're going to be using to paint the bike. Paint filters. Got some sandpaper, 800 and 400. Probably got something a little bit lighter because this might be a bit too hectic. We can do some wet and dry sanding with that. Is this ESP? Oh, this is hardener. Reducer, top coat. Got some more hardener. This is 2K hardener, so two pack paint. So we've got mixed color. What color is this, bro? They'll be white and they'll be black. White. Why have we got white and black? Uh, because the bike's gonna be mostly white with some black stripes. So oh, I thought black. we were doing it all black. Oh, f we're painting, a, all right, guys, we're painting a white bike. That's even better. White is like the easiest color in the world to paint. All right, and we've got some mixing pots. How much did you pay for these? Oh, good. Because we usually use like um, just disposable cups. We've got some etch primer. That's interesting. Etch primer is usually used like on metal because it, uh, it's got uh, rust inhibitors in it. So it's just interesting that the guy gave him etch primer instead of just regular primer for this job. But I'm pretty sure it'll work the same. These guys know what they're doing. And then we've got some 2K primer fill. What is, it? what is this? Do you know what this is? So primer filler, we'll work out what this is later. And then this should be thinners. Automotive uh, multi-purpose thinner. Ooh, multi-purpose thinner. Good, all right. So we've got almost everything that we need. We've cleaned up the garage. We've moved the bikes outside and we're gonna set up uh, sort of like a makeshift, like a makeshift spray booth in here. So we're just gonna put some string lines up across the top of the roof, across there, across there. We're gonna lay some drop sheets down so we don't get too much overspray. We're gonna close that door so that the drop sheets don't blow towards the painting that we're gonna do just here. We're gonna get some frames set up so that we can put all the fairing on and then we're gonna get started with prepping the fairing, getting it ready for paint, sanding, cleaning, making sure that it's all good to go, putting on the first layer of primer, then we're gonna bake that. I'll show you, we've got like a mad little baking rig for 2K paint. I'll show you guys a little bit later on. So right now we have to go down to, where, where do we have to go? Bunnings, you got a Bunnings gift card, don't you? All right, let's go spend a... All right. Oh no, we've got pizza coming, bro. All right, we're gonna have a quick pizza break and then we're gonna head down to Bunnings and get everything that we need to get this project on track, on the way, it started. Pizza's just got here. $5 pizzas, man, cannot go wrong. What do we get? Pepperoni, barbecue sauce, chili. Fuck yeah. Pepperoni barbecue sauce with chili. <laughs> uh, this one's like a sausage and onion pizza. Should be good to go, man. Three pizzas for two grown boys. Where's that drink? Put out drinks as well, man. Look at this shit, bro. It's just um, strawberry cordial with some mint leaves. Yeah, I know, right? There you go, bro. Let's eat and then we'll get some work done. Jump cut. Woo! All right, we're going to get some drop sheets to make a makeshift um, spray booth. 3.7 meter by 3.7 meter. These are cheap, man. Dollar thirty. Five bucks. What we got here? Ah, uh, perfect. Eight pack. 2.6 by 3.6 meter. All right, drop sheets. Uh, we need to get some string and some tape. We're doing this paint job on the cheap, so we need some masking tape. 330. It's at 50 meters. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Let's get some string. All right, we just got into Bunnings and we found this. Uh, this is really strange. I've never seen this before. Craft paper rope. Oh, this shit is legitimately strands of paper. And check this out, all right? Oh, <laughs> now I break it. Before we we're pulling on this before, and we couldn't break it. All right, so maybe this isn't the right stuff. 
Jiggle, what have you got? Twine. I do it for wrapping, bundling, and craft. It's synthetic. So what's that? 12 bucks? Yes? That's it. Ah, oh, some sandpaper. <laughs> lazy, mate. I'm using voice... Oh, guys, I'm using, like, voice commands on the GoPro right now, and Badger's just like, bro, you're a fuckwit. It just makes me feel so jealous. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get some 1,200 grit sandpaper. It's just like a dollar a sheet. One, two, three, four... Let's go five sheets. I think five should be all right. We've got some 800 and some 600, and I think we've got some like 320, which is like super coarse. But I think we're gonna use the 1200 to really finish off the primer before we paint. And uh, yeah, all right, let's, uh, that's it, let's go. So we just got back, we got 28 bucks worth of stuff here. Paint and string and tape and all that other shit. This is actually for me. Watch out, Milo, come on, get out of here. We've got the rest of the painting stuff, so we've got about 200 bucks worth of stuff here, and we're gonna start prepping the fairings right now. Makeshift spray booth. I'm just gonna have to seal up these edges with some tape. The tape's on the other side! Oh, <laughs> What are we gonna do? How did you get over there? <laughs> Alright guys, so this is our makeshift spray booth. This is where we're gonna spray. So we're gonna put some water on the floor to make sure that none of the dust comes back up and settles on the paint, giving it a matte finish. We're gonna close that garage door to make sure that this doesn't blow around or we might actually anchor this to the floor so that it doesn't blow in towards the uh, painting that we're gonna be doing right here. Yeah, now it's time to prep all the panels and get this show on the road. All right, so I've just got my good friend Badger to wax and grease remove all of the fairing pieces that we're gonna spray. And now we're gonna mix up some primer. Spray these bitches with some primer. We were gonna try and cure the paint with this thing here, but I can't find a connection for the gas bottle. So instead, we're gonna, I've got another little heater that I use in the garage during winter when I'm doing like bike maintenance and stuff like that so we're going to use that instead and just move it around the fairing just to speed up the cure time because two pack takes a couple of hours to cure or we could use a heater and have it cured in about half an hour Can you read them out for us so four parts 2024 all right four parts primer so i'm going to put 400 mils in See, that's pretty good. All right, so four parts primer, one part 2030 hardener, and then one part 6020, which is the reducer. Okay. Guys, so we're just mixing up the um, primer right now for the for the fairing. So we're about to paint the fairing with the primer. Yeah, man, I haven't painted in a long time, man. It's been like almost 10 years now. It's the last time I painted two-pack paint, but what do they say? It's like riding a bike, you never forget. All right, we're ready to go. We're about to, we need to really test this. We've got the paint mixed up in the paint gun. Yeah, it's coming out nice. So you probably can't see my face right now, but I've got a face mask on. I'm about to start spraying the bike. Badger here is gonna be my B-roll guy, so he's gonna have the second cam. And I'm gonna switch over to the camera on my head right now. just sprayed the first piece with primer. I've just showed Badger how to do it. So we need this to dry. I'm just gonna put this aside and put some heat onto it with a little gas heater that I've got. But Badger's gonna paint the next piece. We're gonna see how he goes. What are you gonna do? The seat panel? I'm gonna be fucking shit. Tell everyone how bad I am. 
I'll tell you what, how about you paint this part first, and if you're really fucking it up, I'll take over and I'll... Because this here is going to be underneath the seat pad anyway. Yeah. And then if you're really fucking up, I don't think you will, though. It's pretty easy. Then I'll, I'll take over on this, but I think you should be able to do it. This piece is now going to be drying, and we're going to be using this little heater to dry the two-pack paint. I think it should work out quite well, actually. That's going to throw off enough heat to really set the uh, primer. Then we'll be able to sand it, we'll dry sand it, wet sand it, and then we'll use a tack cloth to make sure that there's nothing left on there. And then we can get the, uh, we're going to be painting this part white so then we can get the white paint ready and paint it white and paint it on a nice smooth surface. I think it'll come out really well. Let's let that cook for a bit. All right, Badger, you're up. It's time, your time to shine, bro. All right, subscribe on here.